without even thinking, realizing later that I'm Catholic, and it's kind of a no-no for Catholics to be of another religion for just a weekend to do a wedding. So thank you, Des, wherever you went to, to uh, uh, for officiating. Um, I asked Dana if I could just say a few words. I, I will keep it brief, I promise. I told him I was going to talk for a 20-minute sermon. I won't do that. Uh, Dana and I are, are, are like... Uh, uh, We've been really close for probably about 25 years, maybe more. And he's, like, he's more like a brother to me. And uh, uh, it's basically, <laughs> basically, I just wanted to, to say thank you, Julie, for all that you've done for Dana and Emma and Chelsea. You two, all three of you have. I've seen Dana more happy since you met you guys than I ever have in my whole entire life, for real. Now, Dana told me that he expected me to roast him, uh, because I do know some things. <laughs> uh, so tonight, when we go to the reception, if you want to know some things, I like Crown Royal. <laughs> a lot. And sometimes a lot. And uh, so, um, you know, I could roast him. I could tell stories about when we used to do farm shows. And we went to a place in Minot, North Dakota called the Yellow Rose, but I won't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can talk about the time we went to a, a place in another big town where we went to have supper and Dana won a karaoke contest by accident. Um, 
There's another time when, when Dana got a really strange call after a farm show, oh you did, late at night, <laughs> and uh, caused him to question his uh, whole life for a while. <laughs> um, you know, my, my wife and I, in all seriousness, my wife and I have been married 28 years, uh, 29, coming in August. Um, but some advice that I would love to give you guys, and you'll hear it from all the people that are married here, is you're going to do great things together. But, you know, life is tough, and marriage is tough, and relationships are tough, and the world is throwing stuff at you all the time. But together, you can do it. Apart, if you think about life, and I do this often, if you think about your life, if you were alone, it would be so much harder to do it. When you're together, it makes it a lot easier. So, Julie, I need to apologize to you, and some advice I would have for you is that Dana is a lot like a 40-ish toddler. <laughs> and if you have immense amount of patience, you're going to have to keep doing that for a long time. I know. Uh, for your sake. I know. Uh, Dana? <laughs> It, it, uh, yeah. So, uh, Dana, you need to learn to be a lot nicer. Um, you know, no one, no one, no one's perfect. Not a single person in this room, including us standing up here. But you guys are going to do awesome, amazing things together. I can tell it. And congratulations. Thank so. you. Thank you. as unique and as beautiful as they are. By nailing these horseshoes to this piece of wood, it symbolizes how strong they are as individuals, but how stronger they are together.
As you place this ring on Julie's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. This ring, I be wed. By the authority trusted in me, it is my honor to pronounce you for the first time ever as Mr. and Mrs. Melius. Dana, you may now kiss your beautiful bride.